Welcome guys, it's the SK Show, probably brought to you by Mac Coffee only on Zindagi TV. And today we are reviewing a Kenyan film called 40 Sticks. But not only a review, we'll also be talking to the lead actor, Robert Gengo. That is an award-winning actor, award-winning film. Let's see what the first is all about. So guys, finally the man is here with me, Robert Agengo of 46. Hey, Bwana, boss, Sunday Sana for coming on the show today. Yeah, Nashkuru Sana, thank you so much for having me. I mean, I'm a good <laughs> person, you know, I mean, I wish this Corona was not there with a flat set, you know, share the drink or something. Yeah, yeah, me too, me too. <laughs> yeah. Tell me, tell, tell me about yourself, bro. I mean, who are you? Let, let, let people know who you are. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, me, me and Robert Agengo, and I'm just an actor. I'm just a Kenyan actor. Okay, so, so is uh, acting is what you do full time throughout? Yes, basically. Uh, I do other things in the entertainment industry just to keep me going, but acting is what I do. Acting is my thing. Uh, just to sustain me as an actor, I sometimes have to do other things. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so mm. tell us, how, how did you get this role of 46? I went for an audition at the Kenya National Theatre. Seriously? <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. You just saw it on Facebook or somewhere and you're like, let me go and try it out. Uh, no, no, I think somebody... We, we were called for well, by uh, Gerard Langiri, who's the casting agent. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sometimes we sometimes we get closed auditions and yeah. sometimes we we get the audition posters on Facebook or Instagram or something. So was it like an open audition? You audition in front of everyone and uh, the uh, most of the executive production team was there because uh, the producer was there, the director was there, the exec uh, one the, I don't know the the three producers were there and the director was there and the casting director was there so yeah is this like the <laughs> first major film you've ever done no 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 this i have another actually i have another film on netflix that came before 46. seriously tell, tell us more about that, <laughs> that yeah, it's a, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 it's a it's a it's, it's a very good movie actually it's a very good movie with a very good story it's actually a true story we shot in Malawi in 2018 or 2019. It came out in 2019 on Netflix. Uh, we, we, we did with Chiwetel, AJ4, the one in 12 Years a Slave, or, you know, the actor, yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes and it has six Kenyan actors. Wow. The main actor, yes, the main actor is a Kenyan boy who is now, I think, 19 years or 20 years. Wow, which movie is yes. The boy who harnessed the wind. You need to check it out. It's oh, very good. I, I heard about it. I was told it's a very deep movie. You know. Yes. Yes. Wow. yes. And we had to, we had to learn we had to learn Chichewa, the language, and to wow. to act in it. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Mm. Nice. So, so so tell me that. So let's let's come back to the current trending thing, which is the thirty-six. So how how yeah. did you prepare for this role? Ah. Uh, as normal as normal well i didn't i didn't i didn't have to go uh i didn't i didn't have a i i, I just i just come from shooting the boy you are as the wind then I, I had a lot of time I, I didn't get a job as soon as this was my first job after the boy you are as the wind so i was pretty much ready how how the way you've acted in photo sticks you know it's like that expression of yours, that stone face of yours, you know, no smiling, nothing. Because now we are much. Well, so that, that, it's like you're talking I with can... eyes. <laughs> you know that that thing. Everybody watched it. Whoever has seen it, they're like, "Hey, this guy's expression, those eyes, it yeah. looks good." <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't know what to say. I've always, I've always, uh, you know, it's how you interpret your roles because um, um. As I try to be as natural or as truthful to the situation as I can be, you understand. So 
it depends on how the role makes me feel and i just follow the feeling i write the feeling like like uh, you know like you, you drive a wave kwa kwa maji yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That, so it, it basically was part yeah. Of the plan. yeah it's always part of the plan it's always part of the plan so in person in person i can see you're you're a smiling happy guy but i got to stop this <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Yes, yes, and how was your experience about the body state? And t- tell us more about it. as we are filming. Yeah, as you are filming the whole thing, the whole movie, everything. What was the yeah, vibe? Yeah. Well, uh, it was we underwent we underwent a uh, lot of hardships because uh, when we were starting out, it was very good. To be, went for auditions then it was very promising at some point in the in the middle of the shoot i think uh, there were some problems with the production because of finances so yes, yes. and it could affect yeah we, we we could see it was affecting the production in one way or the other and then you know you could also you know as an actor you'd feel you'd start asking yourself if you're, if you're going to get paid and it's very demotivating Sure. But the producer is, is a very good guy. Fakir is a very good guy. I know, I know, he, I know Fakir from the days he used to work at Kanye. Yes, ah, that's a long, yeah. yeah. So ah, that's a long time ago. Yeah, Indian DJ there, you know. So from those days, I know. Ah. <laughs> wow, this thing. Yeah. Ah, nice, nice. <laughs> yeah. So you know DJ Kariz? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Of course. Yeah, well, Faki Faki is a good guy, he's a stand-up guy. So he made his promises and he kept them. Yeah. Uh, but th- those were one of were some of the challenges we had. And we were also shooting at night, mostly in the forest. Uh, uh, so t- it would get very cold, and you know, sometimes kuna siafu kwa kwa set because you know, they just it's at night and we're in the forest. Many things were happening. But it was fun at the same time because, yeah, yeah, it was a new experience. So, it, yeah. But I lost a lot of weight because we we, we never we never we, we couldn't really sleep. We we had to be we had to get to, uh, on set. We had to get on set by by you know, around four or five p.m. because of preparation. So we start shooting at seven, and you have to leave when the sun is coming out. So by the time they drop everybody home, it's around eight or nine. Then we're being picked up by by one or two. Then so you know we we sleep for around three four hours. Yeah. Then we are back on set. Yeah. So and it was for it was we are going uh, marathon for how many days? Uh, for seventeen days. Yeah. For around seventeen days. Yeah. Yeah. So, but so, it was a good thing it was a good experience so in terms of in terms of uh, the finances if you think the budget was bigger the movie would have been better or what uh no it, it's not even a matter of the of budget well the budget was okay i think the only problem is that we might have gone overboard maybe 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 uh, the money he had budgeted for was you know i don't know what happened i don't know what happened clearly but maybe it was less i don't i don't i couldn't understand yeah. i think he, he he thought that it would be enough then it didn't happen that way and then why yeah. why you as, as an actor as, as this, is, this is your lead actor over here you know you're not a supporting role you're the main you're the pablo <laughs> yes so, yes so, were you happy as as uh, what the final product came out Yes, you know, uh, I never, we never even knew because of the hardships we had, we didn't know it, uh, we didn't know it was, it would even come out. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah, because this, this is two years later, after, this is two years after we shot, I think, when it came out, then Faki called me, uh, called everybody actually, and he told us that uh, the movie is coming out, it was a surprise. And it's coming on Netflix, so I don't want people to tell you before you, you know. So yeah, yeah, so, yeah. We never. But yeah, it was a very good surprise. Though, so Netflix because, uh, was like the main. Mm-hmm. Part of it. If Netflix hadn't happened, 
Do you think the awareness would have been there this big? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm not sure. I won't say. I won't say. But Netflix was good for it. It's a big push, man. It's a big thing, man. To have a Kenyan yes. movie on Netflix. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It was, it was, it was. Netflix was good for it. <laughs> in, ter- in terms of uh, the, the movie, wh- which was your favorite character in the movie? Uh, my favorite characters are two. <laughs> uh, apart from yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Apart from myself, there are two. Majuju uh-huh. and Muf- Mus. Oh, you like those guys, huh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, I was I really enjoyed even when we were shooting I really enjoyed watching their roles uh, you know unfold yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. which one which is your favorite scene from the movie my favorite um, let me see there must be one scene you're like and hey, you you even talk to others well um, let me see I'm not sure ah yeah 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 I like uh, I like I like many scenes, you know. Yeah. But I like let me, I don't I don't think this one that I like most. Uh-huh. But uh, I like if mine yeah. if the mine I like the scene where 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 I'm with the family and uh, yeah, where I'm with the family and I like the scene where we were just preparing to get out of preparing to get out out of jail yeah like where where, where they're just showing the people like introducing the profiles yeah, the and then you could see yeah yeah, yeah. I, I liked it i liked the way they did it and let me see i liked the walk during the end the, the walk uh, we are we are we are the four of us yeah yeah and i liked um i liked Dakari, you know, when she was now with the gang, when 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 she got shot three times, yes, yes, her yes. performance, yeah, yeah, her performance. That is her performance is one of my best scenes in the movie. Nice. Her performance. She definitely yes. killed it, man. She pulled it off very well. Yeah, she did. Yeah, yeah. even Maura is one of my best actors in the movie. The yeah. guy who was big. Yes, Maura. He really stood out for me. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, I, I, the, 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 the jailer. Who was the jailer? Ah, uh, Arab. That guy. Arab like, was... All, all. The only one he knew was Yangao. That's it. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, you know, I think, I think it just, it when it came out, then it just, it just, it just worked for him. You know, <laughs> when, while we were shooting, I think, you know, yeah. <laughs> by, by the way, yeah, big... congratulations on all the awards you've won so far, man. Asante, Sana. You and yourself getting a Best Actor award and everything. How, how does that feel? Uh, well, I've never... This is my first time... I, I've been acting since 2004, and this is my first time ever being nominated and getting an award, so... Yeah, yeah it's uh, very motivating. And did, did you see it coming, like... Once it happened, once you got the little bit like ah, in young, did you did you did you see it coming? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, I can't say I did. You didn't expect it was it. very, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, it became very. It was very confusing for uh-huh. me. You know, yeah. I think I uh, wasn't ready for it, but you know, yeah. I think there's no better timing. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Now tell, tell me, we're, we're almost coming to an end. How's the movie scene in general in Kenya? I know it's very hard, but, but what's your take on it as an actor, you know? Mingumu, bro. Yeah. Well, as you, are you acting, are you asking, uh, uh, you know, it depends because uh, if it's uh, like uh, the technical part, it's very good, you know, like uh, we have good crews, we have good movie com- production companies, yeah, no, you know. As an actor. As an actor, as an actor, of the movie scene, can you survive as a full-time actor in Kenya? Yeah, now that now that is very hard. You know. <laughs> that is very hard. Okay. But it, we've tried. We try to. We try to. You know, try, I, I can say. Uh, by the time I was coming into the scene, we, there there are not so many t- 
TV, you know, TV for Kenyan actors, TV shows. So we were mostly at the theater. So it wasn't about money, but just about being there and trying to perform. Now, you, you, the, the, that's the only time you'd get money is when you were going to shoot something. There were a lot of international movies coming in and things like that. So you'd get roles, extras, or extras for commercial, things like that. Yeah. That's how you'd survive. Now, the platforms have changed. People have their own YouTube channels, things like that, you know, Instagram, uh, live channels, Facebook. They're th- they're, everybody has, you can, you can be, you can just make your money from your own following, from your own numbers. So uh, it's quite of a, it's quite a challenge now for, for the industry. Thank yeah. We hope it changes in time. Right? Yeah. So, so tell me what's next on your list now. Will we see you again on a big screen? Now you you, you made it, you got the awards, you so now does this change anything in your life right now? Yeah, true. It has it has uh, I am getting a lot of calls for jobs and things like that. You know. It was a bit tough in the past uh, two years. It was a very, very tough time. Yeah. But things are looking up now. Things are looking yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's definitely, I think uh, there might be some shows coming up on TV, but I, uh, I won't say just yet until, yeah, the right time. Awesome. Last but not least, advice to your fellow Kenyans, young actors, international, local, what do you have to say to all of them? <laughs> well, uh, I get a lot of messages from actors who are trying to come into the industry thinking they're thinking you know they keep on saying uh, we we link them up you know they use that word we link them yeah i just i just like to i just like to say there's nothing like that yeah. there is nothing like that in this industry there's nothing like that you cannot link anybody up you have to I went, I came from high school, I went and looked for auditions at the theater. There are now Facebook pages for auditions, Instagram pages for auditions. You can even Google Kenyan auditions. Some posters will just show up. It, it is, you just go for auditions and tr- and always just keep on trying. Keep on trying. You just, don't try and take a shortcut because it, it won't work for you. It's a very tough industry to penetrate and you might end up doing a lot of things just to you know to try and get something and then at the end of it it's an illusion yeah. you know yeah yeah the, you know the, it always looks like uh there's a lot of money and glamour but behind the scenes it's actually very tough so you have to be really you have to really want it to to keep doing it yeah so just do it the right way that's what i'd say to any young actor yeah yeah and thanks, thanks for your time. Before you go, who's your inspiration? Which actor do you want? <laughs> There's so many. There's so I'm many, but... You're like, you're huh? <laughs> At this point, if I say the truth, uh, just, and I'm, and I'm as humble as possible, I just look up to myself because, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I set my own bar and I think, yeah, that's out to you. Awesome. Robert, thank you so much for your time, man. I mean, it's been a pleasure talking to you here. You, know, you too. We've done the movie review and we're combining it with this interview and uh, a Sunday son of your time and we wish you all the best and we look forward to seeing you in more places. And thank you for well. Yeah, Sunday son of Shahid, thanks for having me. I really appreciate you taking your time to do this. Yeah, and thanks for supporting, you know, uh, local productions. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a movie which everybody has to watch. Seriously, right? they can't. <laughs> 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 ah, Santi Sana, Santi Sana, Bana. We yeah. hope to, you know, you can, you, 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 you can get to watch the other one, and then, then maybe we'll do, we'll do something else for it. Definitely. Because I think, yeah, see. Six Kenyans, six Kenyans in an international movie is a big thing for Kenya. Yeah, I think. It's a and they, I, yeah, the especially if the main it's actor is a Kenyan. Not, it's not a lot of noise being made about it, so you know that's. The yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's actually a very good movie. You watch it and let us know. Definitely, so we'll be in touch. Thanks so much, Robert. 
You have a good one. You too. Asante sana. Well, okay, guys, that was Robert Agengo, the lead actor, aka Pablo of 40 Sticks. Thank you for your time, Robert, once again. And as for now, let's take a look at the review of the film. I know this is your very cool. Yeah. Okay. And I've actually noted it out for you. This movie, before I start it, is a must. You have to watch it, especially if you're a Kenyan. You've got to be proud of 40 Sticks. So the movie sets off in Nairobi, yes, with a group of gangsters doing a hit and a small argument uh, happens there with their female uh, partner. There's an element of trust and betrayal sense from there. The group uh, accuses the girl and shoot her and that's where uh, the first matchstick is struck. After that, you know, we get to meet the characters of the group and all of them are very, very interesting, by the way. Uh, the lead uh, actor is the man with a plan, that's Pablo. And he always keeps everything to himself, you know, he has his cases up his sleeve. So as with all crime thrillers, you know, the lead wants out of a bad job and, you know, he wants to settle down and, you know, uh, chill with his daughter and family and all this stuff. He doesn't want to continue, but it all goes wrong. He gets busted and arrested but his uh, family is killed also. After that, 11 months later, a group of death row prisoners, including uh, Pablo's crew, are trapped in a prison bus that crashes. Here is when you get to see their true colors reveal and you know all the characters unfold. The whole mystery gets unfolding slowly by slowly by slowly. You know? And they also get haunted by wild animals and a mysterious killer that lurks in the shadows, killing them one by one as the matchsticks are struck. It's a roller coaster ride from there, full of suspense and a great thrill. You know, the movie doesn't get boring at all. It will keep you glued till the end. You will keep guessing and still not figure out the mystery. But in the end, you say, "Aha!" So that was it. It's been shot really well, and all the characters are pretty good. Their expressions are just spot on. You will either love them or you will hate them. But at the same time, they will keep you hooked onto your screens. The priest being the favorite, yes, he, this boy uh, deserves the attention he's getting. The cinematography of the movie is hot on as well, and the color grading is on another level. Not forgetting the score as well, the music, pretty interesting. What we found a bit irritating in the movie was the jailer, yes, and his forcefulness of the word Yangao or Manyangao, as you say, you know. Can someone tell me how many times he uses it? It's almost first and bad dialogue for the script. That's the only thing that we found it was like over, you know, overacting kind of stuff. Overall, the film is great. Highly recommended and you will love it. It's put Kenya on another level and we wish to have many more such productions that will even get more attention and recognition internationally. If you haven't watched it, go and watch it. 40 Sticks is streaming on Netflix. Trust me, you won't be wasting your 90 minutes. You've got to be uh, like, wow, this is good. This is amazing, especially if it's a cable product on an international level. Go and watch it. Stream on Netflix once again. As for now, thanks for watching, guys. The SEK Show probably brought to you by Mac Coffee only on Zimit TV.